Hello and welcome, I am Raghav from Automation Step by Step and today we are going to see a very interesting and a useful platform for API test automation called VREST. In this session, I am going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn what is VREST, how to download and set up VREST, we are going to see the GUI and features of the platform and then we will create our first project and the first test. So let's get started and let us see what is VREST. VREST is a platform for REST API test automation and here you will see some features. It has a very powerful and easy GUI. We have options to record and replay. We can add very powerful and easy assertions. We have options for data-driven testing, reporting and debugging. There are features to run your tests from command line. We can do scheduling. We have options for multi-environment testing. We can do integrations with third-party applications, version control system and CI-CD. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting. And let us see some demo and let's get started and use VREST. Step number one will be we will download VREST and you can do this on Windows, Mac or Linux platforms. I'm going to my Windows platform and I will go to Google and search for VREST and here I have got vrest.io this is the website and here you can find all the information all the features we also have links for how it works and documentation i will go and click on download for windows and here we have all these options we have a community edition we can use a pro edition or an enterprise edition let me just go with the community edition for now and here it will start downloading and this is done i will go to the folder and here I will just click on the installer and this will start the installation. So I will say run and you can see it is now installing VREST and this is done. Once it is ready we will have to log in. So click on login to use VREST and here you can sign up here and you can create an email or password or if you have a github account you can directly log in with your github account let me try with my github account and now i am logged in and here you can see we have option for workspace and global configuration in the workspace section i can add a project or just i can drag and drop a empty folder to start my project you can also use a sample demo project but i will go very basic and start from scratch so i going to create a new folder I will go to my D drive you can create a folder at any location on your system here I'm going to create a new folder called demo vrest and this is something I can just drag and drop or open from here let me try dragging and dropping it here and yes it is now created and you can see it is here and now we have done step number two that is we have signed up and logged in and before we explore the GUI let me just add this project so now you can see here this is our GUI of VREST let me just expand this and here you can see we have workspace here so once you go here you will see workspace global configuration and then here is the test cases so we can see all our test suites and test cases here if I go to the configuration here you can see an option to create and manage test suites we have authorization here environment variables utility methods response validators schema and some other settings and here you can see a test case recorder so you can actually record your test cases let me just go back to VREST and this project and if I click here on this project it will take us to the test suite and test cases section and here you can create your test cases under your test suites now if you want to add or edit any test suites you can go to the configuration section and you can add or delete test suites from here I will just go and create a test case within this test suite so here we will we have now already created a project and now we also have a test suite let me create the very first test so I will click on this plus button here and here I will select the test suite now in case you use the pro edition or the enterprise edition you will also see options to use a template here is the method so I will select get and the URL so for now let me just try to see some sample rest API for testing 
and here we have this req res dot in it has some dummy apis that we can try so if i scroll down you can see we have all these apis we have get method post put delete all these methods i will go to this list user that is a get api and if i click on this url i can get the complete url from here and i will paste it here test case summary is optional and i will say confirm and you can see the test is created here we have options here are the details also you can see the method the url and a save button you can save it from here and then you can go to request in the request you can see the query and headers so you can add your queries delete copy paste similarly headers you can add delete copy paste so let me try to add a header if i say here you can see all these general options you will see here let me try content type here and i will say i will save and also i will enter the value let us say application json is what is the content type for this request and then if you go to validations we can add all our validations here it is very easy you can see an example here status code is already added and the value is 200 that we are expecting if i click on add and go here you can again see there is a drop down you can add text body json body xml response time header etc for now let me cancel this and then we can also have a validation for expected body so you can actually put your entire body that you are expecting and it will do the assertions we can also add a validation for expected schema and i will show you this in a moment let me just now save and run this for running you can run from here to run only this request or you can select your request from here and click on run from here if you do not select anything and say run all it will run all the test cases here for now i will click here run single and here you can see we have got the assertion result and because we had a single validation i am getting it here you can also see the status here and the execution details we have total passed failed not executed so this is very handy and very useful you can see the reports clear everything from here and then coming back to this section here i have expected versus actual and it says the expected response is not available so therefore as of now we have no assertions or validations here if i go to execution you can see the status and the time taken and this is the url and our actual response is here if you have different representations of your response you can also select it from this drop down then you can see the request headers the response headers and we also have option to export the request and we have all these options c url http wcat and all these options are here so this can be very useful you can directly copy this and can use it we also have a section for logs now let me just go here to the validation section expected body and i will say enable expected body and you can see our actual response have come here we do not have to do any extra steps here everything is here and it will now refer this expected body and do the validations if i go to expected schema i can again say enable expected schema and our schema is created just by a click of a button and now i will save this and this as well and now i will run again and now this time you will see we are also getting results for all these validations the expected body and expected schema let me try to make some changes in the expected body uh, here the total pages is 2 if i say total pages as 3 here and save and if i run you can now see it has failed and here you can see the details it says actual response body did not match the expected response body if i go to expected versus actual you can see the expected response and the actual response here so you can see this is what we expected we expected total pages 3 but it was 2 now here you can see some more options some more features if you are using the pro or the enterprise version and again here if i go back and i will change this back to 2 and save and i will run and now everything is fine also you can see the 
icon here changes to red or green based on the result of your test. So we have now done step number six that is we have added the request, we have seen the validations, we have seen the results, the expected actual and all the basic features and we have also executed our test. Now you can see some more options here is a importer so in case you want to import from vrest cloud postman swagger we can also import our apis from here and here if i go to the configuration we have configuration for test suites where you can add or delete or rename your test suites we have authorization here you can add or edit or delete authorizations then we have environment variables you can actually create variables as key value and then use it into your requests and this will be very handy if you are running your requests or testing your api requests in multiple environments there is an option for utility methods response validators we have schemas here and then some miscellaneous settings then we also have a test recorder here where you can record so you can type your url here and then run it and it will record the api requests and then you can use them directly for your testing if you go to the pro version there will be some more options like hooks here and then if you come down here we have the user option where you can select the theme whether to make it dark or light there is a link for documentation policy term of use pro edition and then logout if you go here docs again you will see all these documentation for vrest and this is very handy whenever you are stuck or you just want to learn vrest you can always go to this documentation and can learn from here there is an option for feedback so if you want to submit your feedback you can always write it here so this is the overall summary and these are the very basic features of vrest there are a lot of features you can do data driven testing you can use excel files we can do complete json and xml validations here there are options for command line runs there are some very good debugging options scheduling and then we can have all the reporting options we can do version controlling and ci cd so you can create your entire test automation platform for api testing using vrest now i'm more interested to listen from you what are your pain points and what features are very useful for you so please give me your feedback in the comment section below this video tell me what are the features you like and what more you need to see and what exactly you will need to create a complete platform for api testing and i will wait for your comments I hope this session was very useful for you. Do share your knowledge with everyone and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.